As families begin to return to work and go back to school, many parents are worried about how their youngest children can stay safe in childcare. We asked a pediatrician how childcare centers are evolving and adding preventative safety measures, even for the smallest of children. Dr. Maypole, can you explain more about how social distancing works in childcare centers? Let's just put it really plainly. I think it's gonna look very different than how it has looked and what will happen going forward will be you know, informed by lessons of, of Asia and Europe and elsewhere where we have seen already uh, some, some ways they have transformed how classrooms and kids you know, work and play together. We will also be informed by schools in our country that have not closed down at all during the duration of the pandemic and things we've learned from them, all informed by things like public health and infectious disease and infection control experts to really offer best practices. So that would mean there might be uh, occasions where activities where you had eight kids at a water table, for example, might have two or three. There might be attempts to for classrooms or groups of children to cohort or pod, you know, really limiting contacts all with an intention to keep it fun, focused, and safe, but really limiting or uh, the risk of contagion and lowering the possibility of spread. And what about teachers wearing masks in the classroom? Will this have any impact on my child's learning and development? We get this question a lot, and I think there is a, a fair amount of concern about something we've never really tried on a society-wide scale before. So the short answer is we're not really sure. However, I can say from my practice, I can say from my work in clinic as a pediatrician, kids are pretty resilient and I'm very, very willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I think going forward, I'm very optimistic and very confident. Um, kids will be fine, babies and infants will be fine and babies are quite adept and accustomed to reading faces and can learn to work with the parts of the face that, for example, they can only see. And if that's from the nose up to the, to the hairline, I think they'll be okay and they'll work it out over time. Thank you, Dr. Maple. To explore additional topics, please visit goddardschool.com slash parenting under five.